Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you all how to install Windows 95 on your Wii U. Now you can see I actually have Solitaire up and running right now, and I've been having a good time playing it. Honestly, it really doesn't run too bad considering the fact of how we're getting this running. Now, this is basically how Michael MJD did it in his video where he installed Windows 95 on the Wii. He basically found a DOSBox application, installed Windows 95 to that, and got it running. Although it did have some bugs, like I'm pretty sure the mouse cursor didn't end up really working for him. But uh, we're going to see if we can get past those issues today. So let's go ahead and get started on the Wii U. All right, so now to start things off, we're gonna wanna open up the VWE. Now we're not actually going to be running Windows 95 through the VWE. We just wanna get DOSBox set up so it creates some essential files on our SD card so we don't have to compile it ourselves through GitHub. And uh, it also gives us a configuration file that we're gonna have to edit later. So just give this a second to boot up. And then we're gonna open up the Homebrew browser. If you don't have the Homebrew browser, I'll leave a link in the description below. That way you can install it. I'm just going to press A on this and go to load. This does take a second to uh, initialize, so just give it a moment. And there we go. Now it's starting to pick up some speed. Now that we're in, we're just going to scroll to the left and go to the emulator section. And then we're gonna start doing a little bit of a scroll down here until we find DOSBox, which it shouldn't be too much further. There it is. So you're just gonna click that and then go to download and just give this a second. Once it's all done, just hit the home button and go to return to loader. And now you should see if we go back, we have the DOSBox application. So all we need to do actually is just open it one time and this will create the essential folders that I was talking about earlier on the SD card. And another thing to make note of while we're in here, it says welcome to DOSBox SVN and I'll get more into that later, but just make note of the SVN. So now we can go ahead and turn this off and head over to the PC so we can start messing with the SD card. And now that we have our SD card open, you can see the folder was created. We have DOSBox on the root of our SD card. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and you can see we have a DOSBox configuration file here. I'll get more on this in a second, but first we're going to toss in our Windows 95 image. Now to get your Windows 95 image, you can back up a Windows 95 disk. And what I did was ran the program uh, DOSBox DOM and let me just start this up. And you can see that this is an SVN version just like it was on the Wii. So this is just the PC port for it. Now, what I did was get my image set up basically how Michael did in his video, but uh, I will leave a text tutorial in the description below for you guys to follow. But uh, I got the whole thing basically set up in here and then created my disk image. So assuming you already have your disk image and if my SD card's still open, you'll see I have my Windows 95 image right here. Now, I will have future Jeremy show you a clip here. Uh, the only problem with DOSBox on the Wii U is that it has very limited keyboard functionality. You can see here that I'm just typing in certain keys and certain keys work and certain keys don't. And that's just kind of how it works with this. So what we're gonna do is back on the PC, go into the DOSBox configuration folder and I'm gonna edit this with Notepad++. And we can ignore all this for the most part. This configuration is what we got from the VWE when we set up DOSBox on there. And you can see at the very end, we have lines in this section will be run at startup. You can put your mount lines here. So all we're gonna do is create an auto boot function. That way it will auto boot into Windows 95 and we don't have to rely on the keyboard functionality, at least for the setup. So what I'm gonna do here is type in image mount, which is IMG M-O-U-N-T. And we're gonna mount drive C. And then we're gonna give it a path. This is gonna be on the SD card. And uh, you're gonna use a colon forward slash DOS box forward slash. And now I have my Windows 95 dot image file. 
and you're gonna need to know the size. Now, for the size, this is already done uh, when you do your setup of Windows 95. It's basically talking about your cylinders, heads, and sectors, but there'll be more on that in that text tutorial that I'll leave in the description. So I know my size is dash size, 512, 63, 16, and 255. And then for our second line, it's gonna be our boot function. It's gonna be boot, and we're just gonna do sd colon forward slash dosbox forward slash win95.image. And we're gonna leave it just like that. So I'm gonna hit file, hit save, and we can go ahead and exit out of Notepad++. Now we should be all set with everything on the computer. Let's go ahead and take the SD card out and head back over to the Wii U. All right, now that we're back on here, what we gotta do next is get DOSBox running on the Wii U itself. Now to get this done is actually pretty simple. If you followed my previous video on setting up RetroArch on the Wii U, uh, there's actually a DOSBox core within RetroArch. So what we're gonna do is just start the Mii Maker, which is gonna open up the homebrew launcher for me. Then we're gonna go down and launch RetroArch. And now we can start getting this set up. So what I wanna do first, just to show you guys, is you can go to load core, and we're gonna scroll down to D, and you can see we have DOSBox SVN right here. We're not gonna click this right now. Uh, if you do not have this, you can go into the online updater and go to update installed cores, or you may have to add it manually, but it should be there if you followed my previous video. So what I'm gonna do is go to load content. We're gonna select our SD card go into our DOSBox folder, and then we're gonna select our DOSBox configuration file, not the Windows 95 image itself. So we're just gonna select that, and this will be our auto boot functions to start Windows 95. And when I made this disk image, I made it all basically auto boot, so we didn't have to type in any passwords or anything to get it started. You can see DOSBox open briefly, and it said starting Windows 95, and here we are. So it does start up, it is a little slow, but honestly, I thought it could be worse. Uh, one thing that I noticed off rip is that I have a mouse cursor, which is pretty nice. I don't have that black square, but I'm sure I can tinker with that later. Wow, listen to that startup sound. Even though it's really choppy, it's still really nostalgic, so I'm gonna let it go. Um, but to use this now, you can actually have gamepad function, since this is done through RetroArch and the right thumbstick is how you move your mouse. There is a little latency, it's really not too bad, and it's not choppy at all to move the mouse around itself. Um, we can do basic programs, like I can open up Start, go to Programs, Accessories, Games, and we have Free Cell, Hearts, Minesweeper, Solitaire. I was playing Solitaire earlier, so I'll just open this up just to show you guys on here. And you guys also get the big screen view as well. I could make this big screen itself, but I'll leave it as it is. But the responsiveness of it's pretty good. When you want to click something, you have to hit the right bumper. And the left bumper is the right click. And um, yeah, everything pretty much runs fine. I won't just dwell on solitaire here. There are other things that we can do. Um, let's see. We can't write anything because the keyboard doesn't work. But uh, we do have calculator function. We have Internet Explorer, which probably most likely will not work. We have MS DOS prompts, but the keyboard doesn't work, so I guess that doesn't matter. So you're kind of limited to the games, honestly. Um, let me go ahead and right click on here. Let's go to properties and head over to settings. Yeah, you can see here under the color palette, we're operating with 16 color. Uh, let's see what happens if I highlight this. Wow, I actually have the option to switch it to 256 color. I'm surprised it's not like grayed out. Um, let's go ahead and select that and hit apply. See what happens. You must restart your computer. All right, let's go ahead and restart Windows and see what happens. Oh yeah, what a huge difference. I have that black square now. I think even the startup sounds slower. And just 
got slightly darker, slightly brighter. I have something up here in the corner that looks stuck, so it looks like the icons might be a little mess. Oh yeah, they're, they're definitely messed up. They're just popping up one by one. Um, I wonder if I'll run into any issues because it's like this, or maybe if I should switch it back. Pretty sure everything probably runs the same. Oh yeah, look at that. It's super buggy. Try solitaire again. No, I mean, it works. It just doesn't look that great. And let me see if switching it to a different color palette fixes the issue. Looks like you got to use the top left corner of the black square to actually be the mouse. Head over to settings again. And let's switch this back to... Let's try hot. Uh, let's try true cut. Nah. Let's just switch it back to 16 since we know 16 was working. So let me hit apply and we'll go through the whole restart process again. Yep. So it looks like that fixed our user interface issues. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of what you can do with this. Um, there's really not much functionality you can get out of it, especially if you can't use the keyboard. So that leaves like you can't use notepad, for example. So that's a little bit of a bummer. I did test it. It doesn't work even within this, um, but it's still pretty neat that it can be done. And uh, overall, it was a pretty fun project. So if you guys try to attempt this, let me know in the comments how it goes for you. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Adios.